Hey everybody, today is Friday, December 8th, 2023, and we are here in St. Petersburg, Florida at the Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Race for Enchant, a giant indoor Christmas event that I am pretty excited about. Look at this, Christmas lights everywhere, people singing, elves dancing. I'm thinking this is gonna be a pretty good time. Apparently there's there's ice skating inside, Christmas Christmas foods, a a big giant indoor Christmas light maze. You guys know I love mazes, so I'm I'm pretty excited about that. This should be a good time. We uh we got our VIP or very 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 important people badges. So we're gonna see what this is all about. Have some fun again. Eat some food. Probably listen to some great Christmas music. And most importantly of all, we're gonna walk a, um, a giant indoor <laughs> Christmas light maze. I, I really wanna check that out. I should have known, we've been here for all of like 14 seconds and already we have to check out the, the headbands. They've got candy canes, they've got elf hats, which are pretty awesome. There were Santa feet, which I'm, the, I'm kinda digging the, the Santa feet. I mean, they light up and everything. That is pretty awesome, but of course, Danielle had to get herself a pair of candy cane ears because can we really go anywhere without you buying headbands or, or ears? <laughs> no, but I will say this, Disney, take take note. Those were, what, $6.42? $6.42. If this place can sell light up candy cane ears for $6.42, what kind of a profit do you think Disney is making <laughs> on their mini ears. 3,000 percent. Sounds about right. <laughs> wow, okay, so I'm I'm officially impressed. E for impressed. This is this is pretty amazing. Look at this. I've actually never been inside the uh, the stadium. It's a very nice before it, it it is, but I mean wow. They've got snow reindeer games, a gigantic Christmas tree directly in the center. Snow! I, I, I do love me some Christmas. The, okay, all, all right. The, the drive here may have been like seven hours of us sitting in traffic, but you know what? <laughs> hashtag I'm, I, Yeah, hashtag worth it, definitely. Now let's go find that maze. All the Christmas lights are making me very, very hungry right now I'm, th I'm thinking that's it or maybe I just I'm, I'm just always snacking that, that's probably more truthful yes. but I'm gonna say it's all the fault of the light I need some food and I don't know what enchanted nachos are but I kind of want to to find out I mean I've heard of Papa John's I've heard of Nathan's but what's an enchanted nacho <laughs> I want to know are we able to go anywhere without spending money I Danielle just found herself a uh, a raccoon Christmas ornament. That, I mean, honestly, that is kind of awesome. How much are these? F 15? 15 each. I mean, two for 25, ooh, three for $10. That is pretty awesome. I kind of feel like we should be pacing ourselves though. We, we, ju <laughs> we just got here. They've got plenty of them in stock. I'm sure they'll, they'll have plenty by the time we're done. Great. All right, the alligator's cool too. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Is it? Is it snow? Snow. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. We were kind of hoping for maybe an enchant ornament for the Christmas tree, but I don't actually see any ornaments that say enchant on them. Just all kinds of other interesting things. They they do have an enchant snow globe, but I don't really think we're in the market for a. Um, for a snow globe. They've got L, well the elves don't say in chance either. They do have this weird, I don't even, is this a magnet? What is, what is that? Maybe. That, I mean, uh, it's a magnet? All right, that, that's pretty, I mean, that's kind of cool. Maybe for the fridge? I know, you, you, you just want an ornament. I, I agree. We asked and unfortunately they've sold out of ornaments. They had them at one point, they do not have them anymore, but we could get a light up spinner or, ooh, your 500th water bottle. I mean, I, I know, do love a good I water know bottle. how much you love your insulated water bottles. <laughs> you, you could get one of those. 
I was hoping for a, a pin, an enamel pin. They don't have those either. So no pins, sold out of, of ornaments. I'm thinking we might not pick up a souvenir. I mean, we could get a brace, a bracelet. I, I'm gonna pass on the uh, the bracelet. Oh, but but an enchant lightsaber. I mean, <laughs> when I think Christmas, I think of the Star Wars Christmas episode. Of course, I think of Life Day. That's what I think of. Oh my Santa! gosh, we were getting to see Santa Claus. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> They're absolutely elf made ears. All right, so sit on down. Here you go. I gotta get a Holly Jolly high five from you. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm gonna high five? You gonna leave me hanging? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, so. Elfbirds in three, two, one. <laughs> what do we want for Christmas to yeah. you then? Uh, I'm thinking um, a new. I, I don't know. What, what should I get? Uh, a hippopotamus. I could totally go for it. For a, for a hippopotamus. <laughs> I want I don't I want a donkey so I can name him Dominic. No, no, no. no. <laughs> what a hippopotamus. Only a hippopotamus will do. But I mean but a but Dominic the, the Christmas donkey. Oh, Ch chickity true. chinky honky ha. <laughs> I mean come, come on. There I don't know. World world peace and goodwill towards men. That's yeah. that's all we could all, all, all really ask for. Towards men and a hippopotamus. All right. So, we can make that work. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if getting a hippopotamus is all it takes to get world peace, <laughs> done, done deal. I, I will t I will take a hippopotamus. I don't know where he's going to live. Can live in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> done, done, done. We still haven't done the Christmas maze yet, but I mean, we did get to meet Santa Claus. We, we didn't really do any shopping. We just kind of looked around. Still haven't eaten yet today either, but we walked past the uh, the ice skating rink and said, you know, you know what? We we gotta do it. We gotta we gotta go yeah. ice skating. I haven't been ice skating in uh, twenty something years. Same. <laughs> so so this is all right. Be really great. Should we take waivers now or take bets now? Who will break their wrist first? I cannot break my wrist. <laughs> this could either be really funny, really painful. Really awesome, or a mixture of both. I'm gonna I'm go. Scared. I'm gonna go with all three. I don't know. If this is the smartest thing. Oh my god, smartest thing or dumbest thing I have ever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No. You know what? No. <laughs> I, I know. I. I'm gonna break something. Hold. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. Stupid. And and with. Perfect. I'm just. I'll be here. Have a good time. I'm gonna kill myself. I've left Danielle, oh my gosh, I've left Danielle back there. <laughs> I, I, I kind of, I kind of know what I'm doing. It, it's almost like roller skating, only 10 times more dangerous because you're on ice and only on sharp metal blades instead of, instead of quads, instead of four, four wheels that I feel are more, more attached to the ground. This is pretty awesome though. I, <laughs> I'm still pretty certain though. I'm gonna fall. All right, Danielle's doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm helping her out here. What she doesn't really know though, is the entire reason I'm doing this is not to be nice. It's so that if I fall, I have something to cushion myself no! on. That's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. But you're not too old to cushion my fall. And that's what's important. And just like that, she's doing it on her own. Danielle has officially remembered how to skate she's terrified for her life but she has remembered how she she's remembered how to, to to skate i clearly i have it i'm still fumbling like an idiot you, you know the worst part of that was not actually the fear of falling on my butt or, or, or breaking and uh, breaking a wrist or a, an ankle or a leg or something it's the pain my feet are now in from doing that. Those skates are not comfortable. Yeah. I They're like ski boots. <sighs> yeah, I, I've never been skiing. Ow. Now, you know, or, or maybe it's just that I'm an old man. I can get to the ladder. Probably that I'm an old man. <laughs> Still haven't done what I've come here to do, which of course, again, is the, the maze. I wanna do the Christmas light maze, but we are heading upstairs now to the VIP lounge. We got our our free drink tickets. I'm gonna get myself a rum and coke. You're gonna get yourself a 
whiskey sour. I'm trying to name drinks. I don't drink. I have no idea. I don't those, drink any of those. Those either. are those are <laughs> drinks though, right? Yes. It's like, did I do good? Good job. I did. Baby. I did good by talking about things that I know nothing about. What I do know is the view from up here is pretty, so pretty. fantastic. Look at that. That is amazing. All right. Ready to go get our, our drink on? Yeah. I'm hoping they have rum and coke minus the rum. If they have that, I'll be happy. Sometimes it pays to be VIP. Again, we're up here in the VIP lounge and uh, they gave out free tote bags in Chant. A world of Christmas wonder awaits and wonder. That is awesome. And then yours is different. Yours says, believe in the magic. And on the other side, oh, it's, it's a sleigh. That is pretty cool. But best of all, inside the tote bags were some goodies. We got ingredi s'mores. ingredients for s'mores. <laughs> okay, but, and what I know you're most happy about, they gave us a Enchant Christmas ornament, which is pretty awesome. So you got your ornament after all. Again, sometimes being VIP, it, it pays off. Again, just chilling in the uh, VIP lounge, drinking our free drinks, and um, Danielle got the elf punch, right? <laughs> I, I, cannot, so sour. I cannot tell by that face if you liked it or did not like it, because at first you went... It's and really sour. Your face. Taste it. I don't, I don't want to taste, taste it. it. That is extremely sour. Liquidized Sour Patch Kids. That's terrible. Dear elves, you make terrible, terrible <laughs> punch. But thanks to, uh, to Coca-Cola, I can, I can wash that, that taste down. Mm. Now we know why this is Santa's preferred drink. Not that. That was terrible. All right, now that we're properly <laughs> lick, lick, liquor it up on my my Coca-Cola and your non-alcoholic <laughs> elf weird sour juice. Elf juice. Yeah, elf juice. That's what it is. It's elf it's elf juice. Ah. Anyway, so now that we're now that we're um, sufficiently lubed up, we're gonna check out the reindeer games. I'm gonna assume I'm going to assume this is where we can find Yay! What, what I came here for. The maze. It's got I I saw it from up there. I'm thinking it's right around here somewhere. An innocent game went awry. I'm thinking the maze is this way. Ooh, so okay. An innocent game went awry. Now the magic bells are missing. Please help Santa find them. So we gotta find the magic bells got it. in the. I'm on it. <laughs> You're, you, you got this? I guess we have to you find the magic bells in the maze. You are pretty good at mazes. I will give you that. So we're gonna we're gonna crush this maze. Crush the bell? No, we're not gonna crush. We're gonna find the bells. Know, we don't wanna. No, okay. <laughs> we do not wanna crush the bells. Whatever you do, no crushing bells. But this says your your search begins uh, that way or this way. <laughs> Riveting video. All right, so they gave us this um, little card here, and I guess every time we find a bell, we have to scratch off these little areas here, and then I guess it makes a like a photo. Yes. I don't, I don't, I have no idea what's underneath the uh, the scratch off areas, but we're gonna we are gonna find she every. Said there's a treat at the end. Well, then I'm I'm excited. All right, let's find every single one of these bells again. We, we will crush the maze, not the bells. <laughs> find out what's underneath the uh, scratch offs and then get our our treat at the end. And apparently you can write to Santa Claus as well and tell him what your um, your three wants are on your, your wish list. Again, goodwill towards men, peace on earth. And a hippopotamus. And a hippopotamus, apparently. I mean, again, that's all it takes. No bells yet, unfortunately, but I mean, this is pretty awesome. We're walking through a, a forest right now it's very of Christmas lights. This is, this is very, 
and very YouTubeable as as well, which is way more important than Instagram. This is pretty amazing. And I think maybe possibly did we find our first bell? Is that a oh no. I thought we found a bell. It's just I don't know, but you slapped me in the face with every live <laughs> Anyway, not, not a bell. <laughs> dip and dots. Would some dip and dots make you feel better? No. Yeah, that's like that stuff's dots. gross. <laughs> All right, we found our first bell. This is the professor, the brains of the the professor, <laughs> the brains of the enchant animal group. It was the professor's plan to play a game with the reindeer by borrowing their magic bells to take Santa and the sleigh for a for a spin. You professors are always always messing things up look at that it's an awesome fox with the bell so now we have to cross off the professor and i'm, I'm excited because again we, we don't actually know what's underneath these i'm going to assume a photo but we're gonna, we're gonna find out the professor has been scratched and um it looks like a giant bell <laughs> is underneath here so i guess Good call. Uh, yeah I'm, I'm not not too hard to figure out so i'm guessing once all of these are scratched up you're gonna see a giant bell we get a treat at the end and if it, it's a bell. if it requires <laughs> it's a bell shaped chocolate we're, we're gonna find out i'm hoping for a bell shaped enchant christmas <gasps> ornament oh i would love that so much that's what i'm hoping for we have found our second bell this here being bounce it's a it's a bunny rabbit with a bell and the sign over here says bounce. She darts around at such high speeds, you'd be inclined to think bounce ran on enchant energy or maybe that she was the source of enchant energy herself. <laughs> We're gonna scratch off bounce. We're still looking for our Christmas bells, but in the meantime, we have found a Christmas tunnel this is actually pretty awesome i don't know if we're heading towards a bell or away from the bells or if the bell is it's that way or maybe it's that way i don't know but i feel like bells be darned we have to walk through the tunnel i mean this is just awesome i love christmas time Ooh, is there a bell that way Maybe. No scratch off Christmas bells yet this way, but I think we're about to walk through a giant bell or maybe an ornament or I don't know, but it's a big gigantic dome of Christmas lights. That is pretty awesome. I mean, not as awesome as finding another bell, but walking through a bell still pretty awesome in of itself but, but seriously we, we have like 10 more bells to go where are they at aha uh -huh, we found another bell this one's actually mary bell the bell it's a giant moose and it says mary bell the the mood can get serious at enchant especially when the elves are stressed but you can always rely on mary bell to ease the tension with his antics and antlers <laughs> I'm digging that. That is pretty awesome. Now we have another scratch off to do. And I'm noticing oh, I did not see nice. these. That's so cute. So if you don't have coins on you or like me, you don't have your keys hanging from your hip, you can use one of these, these uh, mischievous enchant coins. Aww. I like, I yeah. <laughs> can, can we, can we just, can we just take one of these home? I want this as my Christmas ornament. Oh, that would be a cute ornament. That I'm, I'm just saying, Enchant, if you're watching, Next year. these need to be ornaments. <laughs> I would so buy one of these. This maze just keeps getting more and more, dare I say, amazing. <laughs> Not that funny. Anyway, we just found a, um, a dance floor, a disco dance floor here in the center of the maze. I'm, I'm digging this. I've never been on a disco dance floor before. This is actually pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> There's so many children. I, I should not walk backwards. We found another bell. This one here being big, 
P. Big P the, wait, oh, I get it. He's Big P, the polar bear. It took me a second. I uh, fully admit it. I didn't get what the P stood for. Anyway, again, this is Big P. To his friends, he's Big P. To everyone else, he's Mr. Polar Bear, the unofficial leader of Enchant Animals and Santa's most loyal Arctic Aww. friend. I mean, if I was a giant polar bear, I'd probably be friends. Santa as well. And if I was Santa, I would totally be friend <laughs> a gigantic polar bear. I mean, you got that thing on your side, nobody's messing with you. Wow, we just found another bell. This being snowy, uh, she spends her days perched in a high tree or gliding silently above the village. Nothing moves and enchants without snowy knowing. And I heard like five people already say this is the best one. And yeah, I can totally see why snowy is the best look at that snowy the snow owl okay that's amazing and i'm thinking we're i'm thinking we're going to be waiting in line to get a photo with this that those are my second favorite animals. that's <laughs> we're going to need a list top five favorite animals do you have that list i don't we're gonna make I just that. Like owls and raccoons. We're gonna have to make that list. I think we have just about found all the bells. Not quite. A couple more to go, but we found Squeaks here, which is the um, the Christmas mouse, which is pretty He's cute. awesome. He is cute. You gotta love you gotta love mice. Again, this is Squeaks. Squeaks is the smallest of the enchant animals, but she has the biggest heart. Aww. You can always count on her to be there if you need a very small shoulder to lean on me. So it's like. Lean on me when you can't find the bells <laughs> and I'll tell you where they are because we still have like three or so more to go. <laughs> I am lost in this maze. I think we'll go this way. <laughs> Maybe we'll find another DJ dance party with a cool disco floor. I don't know. I almost just poked my eye out on the on the snowflake. That was extremely dangerous. Oh my gosh. Anyway. I checked, we got three more bells to find, and we, we just found another one. This here being, I believe it's um, Paul's, if I'm not mistaken, the snow cat? I was gonna say snow leopard, but I think it's just, a, I think it's a snow, I don't know, it's Paws. Beware of the cat. Paws is the most powerful protector of enchant. She prowls silently through the forest, discouraging any unwelcomed visitors. She has not discouraged us, so I guess we're, we're welcome. We are welcome to see Paws, the snow, the snow cat. I don't know, you know what? I think my top five favorite animals, not a cat, like not cats per se, but a sphinx. A, oh, a sphinx cat. If you can, also in my if top you, five. Yeah, if you can get very specific on what types of like animals, I'm gonna go with sphinx. So I'm gonna say this is Paws, the snow, sphinx. <laughs> All right, Christmas light maze, you officially have us lost now. Turns out we only have one more bell to find. We have um, the tuxedos. The last one actually, I guess, is when you um, complete the bells, but we can't find it. We, we already, we actually already like repassed the entrance. So we have made a full complete circle and somehow, wait, wait, wait. We found it. We found it, hold on, <laughs> it's right. It's right here. I don't know how we missed the the penguins Aww. when we first walked in, but somehow we did. So we've officially completed our our maze. But I wonder, what do you what do you think the photo is? I I don't know. We gotta scratch off gotta, that last bit. Gotta scratch off that last one. Alright, so again, this is the tuxedos. It says inseparable and indistinguishable. The tuxedos move in unison hypnotically disarming those who watch them. Before you know it, you're under their spell. So not only do they put you under a spell, but they use very large words for this one. I was actually thinking earlier that, oh, these are all written very well. So if you're a small child who can, you know, grasp the concept of reading, you can probably read all these until, until you get to the, the tuxedos. I was like, wow, those are many 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 very large words that children would not understand but all right so that's we it. it we have well no we haven't yet we have to scratch off the last one then, then we've done it and make a christmas list 
we have officially done it. We have completed the maze. We have found all of Santa's bells and who knew the photo was a giant bell. Never saw it coming. It says you found all the magic bells and saved Christmas. Yay! Now write your wish list to Santa on the back. So we have done it. We have saved Christmas. Children out there watching, <laughs> December 25th, when you have presents oh, underneath your tree, you can thank oh, you can thank Danny and Dave for saving <laughs> Christmas for for you. There's just one slave problem. We've got to find our way out now. <laughs> I, I think it's that way. Wait a minute, hold on. So we, we were gonna try to find the exit, but then we realized we did not find what's probably the best part of the maze, the giant Christmas tree right in the center. So we found our way to the very center of the maze to check out the focal point of the entire event, their giant Christmas tree. This is pretty amazing it's it's pretty and it's pretty <laughs> amazing that is awesome but all right once again that wasn't that funny but i appreciate the laugh <laughs> we gotta find our way out of here now though we have found our way to the very end of the maze and once again it's beginning Snowbin. it's beginning to snow all over us so we we filled out our card here, peace, goodwill, and of course, a hippo, because as we've learned today, in order for peace and goodwill, you need to include the hippo, or it just, it just doesn't work. So you take your little card and you, you send it off, off to Santa Claus. Peace, goodwill, and hippopotamuses is, is, is hippopotami, hippopotamuses. Have Christmas morning to a hippo <laughs> in the pool. Well, peace, goodwill, <laughs> a hippopotami for everyone. And a hippo in our pool. <laughs> Unfortunately, the treat at the end of the maze was not something epic like a an ornament or something like that, or even that really awesome elf oh, scratch off thing. Treat. Man, I, I want one of those. Even a plastic one <laughs> would have been really cool. But anyway, it was a Santa chocolate. Just what I've always wanted i actually I, to be honest though i am actually really hungry, hungry after spending five hours walking through the maze okay the more i think about it a chocolate santa actually isn't all that bad all right guys so that's gonna do it for enchant here again in saint petersburg florida at the tropicana field home of the tampa bay rays one of these days we're gonna have to go to one of these baseball games but this was amazing it was beautiful all the different christmas lights we got to see santa claus i know him we got to see <laughs> we got to see santa claus mrs claus was in there walking around as well telling some stories to to kids there were elves Lots everywhere elves. we got to try was it elf juice or what, what was that oh yeah elf juice elf time elf, elf juice I don't know. <laughs> it was awful. Who, <laughs> who cares power. the name? It was it was terrible. We got to try some of that. It was a fantastic time. Oh, we got to go through the maze. <gasps> we, and we ice skated. We did ice skate. I ice skated for the first time in like twenty something <laughs> years. My ankles still hurt from that. And most importantly, kids, we saved Christmas by <laughs> by completing the maze and finding all the Christmas bells. You're but <laughs> but all right, guys, that is gonna do it for Enchant here again in St. Petersburg, Florida. But all right, guys, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you postcards every single month from the road. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show. And they do keep the show going and it helps bring us out to also in amazing places like this. So we really do appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag hippos bring peace. <laughs> hashtag hippos bring peace. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. But all right, guys, again, that's going to do it. So like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.